Britons won't have to work anymore. Elon Musk has And is it me, or is it a deep fake? Ahead of the government summit on AI this week, we look at the spread of scams and misinformation online. International leaders and tech companies will gather at a summit at Bletchley Park this week, organised by the government, to discuss how to maximise the benefits and guard against the dangers of artificial intelligence. One issue they'll be considering is the use of so-called deep fakes, videos of people which have been altered or created using AI to spread false information. Their use is increasing in online scams, even in general election campaigns, as I discovered. Just ahead of the Labour conference a few weeks ago, an audio clip was circulating of Keir Starmer berating an assistant. Oh, I'm sick of it. No, oh, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. It's completely fake. And then there's this. Britons won't have to work anymore. Elon Musk has unveiled his new project in which he has already invested more than $3 billion. No other project has ever given this kind of opportunity. We asked Elon about the news and here are his comments on it. Spot the difference. That's not me. Did you think it was me? I mean, it's pretty convincing. It's very disconcerting to find yourself deep fate in this way. This is a financial scam trying to get people to hand over money. And I was worried that people would fall for it. And in fact, even people who know me, know me well, were taken in by it. My hairdresser was watching videos on his phone and saw something that suddenly looked familiar. You're reading the news, and I just thought, I just listened. And you I'm thought that was me? 100%. And it was basically a scam to get money out of you. Yeah. Did you give them your information? I gave them my phone number. Totally regret it, because they bombarded me for days and weeks. And, um, well, yeah, how many times a day were they calling you? At least 20 times a day, sometimes more. It was shocking. Creating a deep fake can take just minutes thanks to increasingly sophisticated AI websites, and it's hard to know who's behind them. How worried should we be? We're fundamentally unprepared to deal with the consequences of hyper-realistic deep fakes, whether that's audio, video, or indeed images, partially because they are so convincing now that it becomes so much more realistic. And to that end, we've seen them increasingly over the last year introduced into the political sphere with disinformation in places like Ukraine, Sudan, and Venezuela. So how true is it that Venezuela is such a poor country? This isn't a newsreader, it's an AI avatar spouting fake propaganda supportive of the government in Venezuela ahead of the election, a blatant attempt to try to influence the vote. There we go. Even the prime minister has fallen victim, fake to look like he can't pull a decent pint. From elections to financial scams, how can we know what to believe? The technology to tell if a video is real or a deep fake is still unreliable. Viewer, beware. Right, let's take a look at the weather. Louise here, and I promise you, she is real. Come on, Louise, let's hear it. Hello there. Well, Fiona, I, I wish I wasn't here, actually, because the weather is not great news once again. 